Vayikru yimei Yisrael lamus. So again, we see it starts off Vayichi Yaakov. And yet, when it speaks about his days come near to die, he becomes Yisrael. Vayikru yimei Yisrael lamus. Yikru lovno li Yosef, v'yom alo v'yom alo v'yom alo v'yom alo v'yom Simno yoto tachas yirechi. If you find favor in my eyes, put your hand under my thigh. Vosisi modi ches demes anosik brein mitzroyim. You should do with me a chesed demes. Please don't bury me in Egypt. So again, as we mentioned yesterday, this is Hishtabus HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When he went down to Mitzrayim, said, I, you will go down and you're coming back. So he already has the guarantee. So why, what is it? Yet, nevertheless, we see this Hishtabus. Right? He has taken the initiative to facilitate that. But let's say for some reason y- y- Yosef can't work it out. Mm-hmm. So he can't work it out. It doesn't make a difference. He's going back regardless. But in terms of yourself, you have to, take, you have to make the Hishtabus. And, and discuss that. Let's see, Rashi. Vayikru yimei Yisro lomos komish nem rabo kreivo lomos. Whenever it says he's close to die, lo igiel imi amosav, he did not live the years of his forefathers. Yitzok chay kuf peg, right? Yes, his father lived 180 years. Yaakov kuf mem zayin. David nem ar kreivo. Ovi chay tov. Yishai was the father of David. Yisha lived 400 years. Vu chay ayin shano. He he lived only 70 years. Vayikru. Yikrun of the Yosef, what he summoned Yosef, Misha Yibicholis Biotolasos, because he had the ability to facilitate his removal from Mitzrayim. Simno Yotro, the Shava. Chesed Demis, Chesed Shosim Amazim, who Chesed Shalemis. What's that? Asisi Moni. Chesed is the ultimate Chesed. There's not even consideration, there's going to be any reciprocation, any payback. Please don't bury me in Mitzrayim. Yeah. He's giving all the reasons. This is all, all why he doesn't want these. That he's pleading with him, therefore, for these three reasons. I don't want to be buried in Mitzrayim. It's interesting. What does it say? He wants to be buried in Marasamach Pelah because that's the ultimate location. Let's say none of these things apply to, to Mitzrayim. Not A, not B, not C. We had earlier, what's Marasamach Pelah? Marasamach Pelah is, is the direct route with Neshama sense. So the reason why we buried in Marasamach Pelah is because that's the ultimate location to be buried. <coughs> right? But from Chazal, you see clear, clear or oh, from the Posuk, Al Nosik Bereni. He's not saying, bury me in Mars Mahpe. I don't want to be buried in Egypt. That's the emphasis. The emphasis is not to be buried here. So it's interesting. So let's say, let's see, anybody other than the others, they have no relevance to Mars Mahpe. So if any of these reasons, let's say it would be not, not to be deified. So it had no relevance to any of the, any of the, any of the Shvotim. Right, so, so temporarily, there's no problem for them to be buried in Egypt because they're not going to be deified. Yaakov, that because when he came to Egypt, the famine ceased, and he was seen as a as a divine being, so he was concerned that after he passes away, they're going to deify him. But any of the others, no reason. So over there, there's no reason Al Nosik for the others. Al double washing, no. Please don't. Okay. Six oh four. Okay. Seventy two minutes before the next. Okay. Thank you.
How many minutes? Four Seventy-two. Thank you. I already see the strain of the tiny sun on his face. Yeah, he feels the severity. It's a, it's a mental issue. It's not a, it's not a reality issue. Yeah. Okay. Really? No, so let, let's get back to the point that makes an important point. He's not saying, I, I want to be buried in Mars and Pedro. It's not Al Nosim Karani, meaning he would not burden Yosef to take him out of Egypt to be buried in Mars and Pedro. It's only because of the negatives. Is it, uh, the negative, the earth is going to turn to Kinim, or the Mesi Chutzos have to roll under the ground, or they're going to be deified. But if not for those reasons, he would not burden Yosef. Why? Because he had to burden him. It was a burden. He had to go and seek out Paro to get a special dispensation to remove Yaakov from uh, from Mitzrayim. I understand that, but but first the emphasis I'll no sakurini. No, and where do I want to be buried? No, he's telling me where I want to be buried there in Marsmach Pelo. He spoke about the negative. Now it's interesting. We find, I mean, he, Hashem says to uh, to Yaakov, "Al Tero mer the Mitzrayim," and then he says, "You're going to go down. I'm going to bring you back." Wait, 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 wait. Alan, we we'll discuss cardiology now. Okay, okay. a lot, of, lot to talk about. Avdil. Okay. Now, when he says, "What was Altira? What was he afraid of?" He could say he was afraid of multiple things, right? He was afraid of the effect of the of, of the environment on his family, which definitely was the case. <coughs> We're talking about this is the bastion of of, of spiritual impurity. This is Stufe Zima, right? The worst is there. Sorcery. Everything else, everything depraved and corrupted is Mitzrayim. Take his family, and he knows he's not going to be around for the, whole, for the whole period of time. In Choron, he created that insular environment. Who's going to create it there for them? Shem says, don't worry. But he says, and, wha and also he says, I'm going to take you down, bring you back. Right? So which means, I'm going to, that means he's worried. What is he worried about? It's, it's, it seems to be a negative. Hashem says, you're, gonna, you're not going to be buried there. He doesn't want to be there. He's, I, don't be afraid to be there, because if you're going to die there, it's a problem. So from that, his concern, you already see what, what was his concern. The concern was the negative. The three things that Rashi brings. He'll be deified, the kinim, and the rolling from Chutz Lord's back there. It's a circle. So Hashem says, you don't have to worry about that. It's going to work out. You're going back. So be, his concern was more the negative than where to be buried. And Hashem responded to that. You don't have to worry about it. There's no negative here. You're definitely going to be brought back. But what was his concern? His concern was, was the neg negative. So if you knew he was going to die, so why did he take the school? Because that we said that. Because this is to facilitate... What, what's meant to be, right? Where's the question? Something. It's 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 it's, good, it's good it's good to review a little bit. Okay, it's not Shalom Shudas Torah. Says Hashem to says to Avraham Avinu, you can have children, right? All of a sudden he comes to Canaan, it's a famine, goes down to Egypt, he's concerned he's gonna be killed. How can you be killed? You know, you haven't had children yet. So what is he asking of, of Sarah? Right? So you see, the answer is, even though Hashem gave me, you still have to what? Take initiative? To what? To somehow to work it out. You know, you're going to live. Could you walk in front of an on, a oncoming car? You can't. You have to do what you have to do. So good. The initiative is to bring that about. Let's say after everything's said and done, it doesn't work, you're going to survive. You don't have to worry. Right? It was found out it's not his sister. It worked out. But what is your responsibility? You have to take initiative. You come in, I have to take initiative. 
if I, 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 adjudic, I, I adjure you, you take the shvur. So that, that's to facilitate that if part of the want, you, you could reveal, you know, you could break your oath to him. Okay? To be continued. Okay, we left off page Chav Gimel, page Chav Gimel in the Maral, second, first column, second paragraph. So he said at Chazal, the Gemara Shabbos, that HaKadosh Baruch created the world, Kadesh Yiru, the fun of, that they should revere him, they should fear him. 